Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today's day number 161 after having gastric bypass surgery. I just decided to put on a little makeup today. Um, I'm not really one that has to wear makeup like every single day because I do like to give my face a lot of breathing time, like days in between to breathe and not get clogged up and get acne. I honestly think this is the biggest reason why I don't have a lot of acne compared to like a lot of girls I went to school with or girls I went to um, work with. Uh, I'm just talking about females, you know. Guys have acne too, but I'm just talking about females because I know a lot of girls like in middle school who always put a bunch of like facial creams on their face and, you know, all kinds of stuff like foundation and it would be really thick because, you know, you're in middle school, you're just learning how to put on makeup because you're going through puberty. So, you know, it's normal. You're going to have those days where you think it looks good and then 10 years later you look at old pictures of yourself and you just go, Oh, what was I thinking? Oh my gosh. We all been there. <laughs> I've had my own. Um, but I was never really one to put on makeup. Uh, because I think to myself, my hair and my makeup does not define me really. It's just something that I like to put on for me, but it's not for really anybody else. Because at the end of the day, when you take it off, it's your blank face is what you originally have. And that's what matters the most. Um, that's what's important. And because of that, I didn't grow up, you know, using a lot of face wash and I didn't use a lot of like contour on my face. Not really. I never really was into it. Not only that, but I don't really know how to do it so well. Some girls on the internet are like, wow, really good at it. And then there's me. I have no clue what I'm doing. I am broken. <laughs> I have no clue. Um, well, anyways, I just wanted to just look nice today, you know, just for me. And because I have a really pink shirt on today. Uh, so the topic of the day, again, going right back to it, is makeup. And the reason why I want to talk about it, you think, what does makeup have to do with being overweight? What does makeup have to do with being obese and having a weight problem? Let me dive into that really quick. So why do we put on makeup? Whether it's fingernails, fixing our hair, putting on eyebrows, even though they're fake. Let's be honest, they're fake. Draw them on because I have very, very thin, light eyebrows. Why do we do it? We do it to make ourselves look pretty, we do it to feel confident, and that's great. But when you're someone like me, who was overweight pretty much their entire life, you know, weight stands out so much. You could be really pretty in the face, have like Rapunzel hair, cool. But as soon as people figure out you're fat, nope, it's gone. Next, you know. And it's crazy because like all my years of living, it seems like if you're skinny, and have all your hair chopped off, or you don't even wash your hair, um, and you don't wear makeup, it just seems like that's more attractive, and, you know, just the trashy look kind of thing, and people have different opinions on what trashy is, I have mine, but just so I don't offend anybody, I'm not going to say what it is, they just think, oh yeah, that's cool, that's great, I like that, it's just simply because they're skinny. Like, here's an example. I went to middle school and high school with a lot of girls that um, wore their pajamas to school, even house shoes. And to me, personally, that's kind of ghetto. Like, you don't, you don't dress like that in public. Now, if you have to, like, run at 2 in the morning and, like, get cough medicine because your kid's sick, or you're, like, running to the ER because somebody had an accident at home and somebody's dying, I can get that. But willingly going out in public in your pajamas and not brushing your hair and you just, it, to me, that's just like, mm, whatever, it's them, not me. But when you're overweight, a lot of people will um, put on makeup to hide the fact that it's really obvious that they're overweight. So go, kind of going back to what I was trying to say, I kind of got off a little bit. So... A lot of girls I went to school with dressed like that. Like they didn't brush their hair. They just threw it in a really raggedy bun or ponytail or on the side of their head. Um, carrying their book bags and they have like a robe on. There's even times where they wear a robe, you know, or something like that. Or they would just dress way off weather. Like it would be winter time and they would wear like shorts, flip flops and a short sleeve shirt or something like that. And a lot of times it wasn't even clean. You know, and I'm not dogging people or anything, but they were mostly skinny and ghetto looking and they would be the real loud mouth girls in school. And you know who I'm talking about? We all had them where they would 
be down the hall running their mouth and acting like they run everything and trying to taunt people or, you know, roll their eyes at you and say things like boo, you know, things like that. And it could be anybody. And people found that more attractive just because they were the bad bitch type because they were skinny and just way out there versus someone who was kind of around my area that was fat but, you know, dressed appropriately, mature, studied, was really good in school, never got in trouble. But, oh, no, we can't have that because you're fat. It's true. You know, and some people may agree, some people may disagree, and that's fine. You know, but this is my channel, and I'm just going to say from my perspective what everything I had gone through. So, um, people who are overweight will do extra things to try to look better around other people so they're not targeted as much. And for someone like me that I am a tomboy, I have always been a tomboy. Um, I will probably die a tomboy and that's okay. I have never been one to wear dresses. I have not. I do not like to wear high heels because I'm already pretty much six foot tall. Why do I need to be any taller? Plus I'm flat footed and it's hard to walk in heels. Um, you know, I don't like stuff that's ruffled on the sleeves or anything. I don't like, you know, spaghetti shirts. Um, I don't like short shorts. And I do not like sandals because feet to me is weird. I don't care who you are. It's even me. Feet is weird. Don't I don't want to see them. Don't put them around me. Don't touch me with them. Just keep them away from me. Just kidding. Well, anyways, um, all my years growing up, I always try to tell myself I have to do something to make it to where it's not so obvious that I'm overweight, but I don't like dressing up because um, I got bullied a lot. So at the time I kept thinking to myself, what's the point? You know, so I was like, let me try on makeup. And you know, when you're first doing makeup for the first time, you know, puberty time, 12, 13, 14, you're terrible at it. You do stuff. And then 10 years later, you see your picture and you're like, what was I thinking? What kind of mess is that? But we've all been through it. Um... That made it worse. Oh, the fat girl's trying to put on makeup now to look pretty. And it's like, you try in life, you get smacked. You don't try in life, you get smacked. Either way, damn if you do, damn if you don't. You know. Uh, makeup is a way to make you feel pretty. It's a way to express yourself. Um, of course, I'm a lot better at it nowadays. But in the beginning, what I would do is that um, I would use black instead of like brown and it was like more like half ways and it was really thin so i thought thin eyebrows were the thing back then and instead of like a cat eye you know i just had it like straight out and then i would have it really dark under here and then um, i would take like lotion and kind of rub it around my neck just to like smell good and stuff and i don't know weird um but makeup is very important when it comes to the way you look in a way, you know. But, you know, if you're not one to wear makeup, that's fine too. But a lot of, like, especially girls, a lot of girls who wear makeup use it so it's like a distraction from not being so obvious that you're overweight. Somebody could say, well, she's fat, but at least she wears her makeup really pretty. Hey, she looks really nice. And it kind of gives them a way to kind of come in socially, you know. That's how it is for me, at least. And I know a lot of people personally who used makeup to try to hide the fact that they were, oh my gosh, so overweight. Um, it was kind of a short video, just kind of something I had thought of last night as I was uh, taking off my makeup. I used to think to myself, like, man, I hope I can do this right. I hope somebody will think I'm pretty and stuff. But I want you to know that if you wear makeup or not, I think you are beautiful. If you are fat or skinny, I think you are beautiful. Because you are born the way you are, and that's the way you're supposed to look. And I think you look wonderful. I know there's going to be people out here that are going to tell you you're ugly, you're fat, you shouldn't wear this, or you need to put on makeup, you need to take off that makeup. Do what makes you feel comfortable, okay? As long as you're respecting yourself, then what's the big deal, man? And I know it's not so easy because there's so many people out here bullying each other, but just know that you have one person on your side that says, you know what? You look great today. I think you look wonderful. I wish I had somebody that was like that around my age, but I never had it. So now I'm here giving it to you. People out here are mean, guys. But that doesn't mean you have to be one of them. Don't be mean. Life is mean enough. Don't do it to other people. Don't give people a reason to just want to give up and stop trying. Because life does that by itself. 
But until then, I'll see you guys later. And remember, I think you look lovely today.